New tonight at 8 o'clock. For the very first time, we are hearing the 911 calls in a murder case where a woman's body was found burning in a car off the I-10 near Tonopah. The victim's name was Mercedes Vega. Mercedes vanished from her Tempe apartment and was found hours later last April when the car fire was reported. Newly released details in the police report talk about the type of car she was found in and what the 911 caller actually saw. True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney spoke with her parents today and what are they saying about this new development? I mean they have mixed feelings yeah. about it one step closer to anything but they're definitely frustrated. I mean this is one of the most high profile cases I have covered and these 911 calls might spark the memory of anyone who may have seen what happened on the freeway that day. Mercedes Mercedes parents are hoping. We know Mercedes Vega was tortured before she was set on fire in that car. And while this is painful for her parents to revisit, they remain hopeful. April 17th, 2023. I uh, so report a car fire. Um, he's up on the side of I-10. It's when I saw like flames literally inside the vehicle. A man calling 911 as he passed by on the freeway near Tonopah unknowingly leading to the discovery of 22-year-old Mercedes Vega inside. And there appears to be a dead person in the vehicle. The caller didn't know what he was looking at, but before he hung up, reported a crucial piece of information. I believe I saw at least one person outside, yes. Mercedes' parents, Erica and Tom Pillsbury, believe that detail could jog the memory of other drivers who passed the car fire and potentially the person seen outside the car, someone who would know about Mercedes' murder. Getting that information out there that they were seen is important. It could be the start of the snowball. This is the last known video of Mercedes Vega alive, seen leaving her Tempe apartment on April 16th. Originally, she was going to meet friends for dinner, but recently, investigators say she abruptly changed plans that night to go to work, where she danced at a club. She never made it there. And after her body was found in the burning car, an autopsy revealed she was shot in the head, had bleach in her throat, and was alive when the car fire started. Along with the 911 calls, we also got the incident report that shows the car she was found in, a white 2018 Chevy Malibu with a salvaged car title. It did not belong to Mercedes. I do believe it's going to track it back to the place that had the car. Um, who did they get? Who took that car from the place? There's got to be some record. The vehicle was never reported stolen. The Pillsburys are frustrated with the sheriff's office just now putting this information out. You're releasing this now after a year when if you were to release this six months ago, um, we may not be sitting here right now. But they're also optimistic. It gives us a little bit of hope that someone's going to recognize something. They continue to try to move forward themselves, talking to me today from Hawaii, a place Mercedes loved and visited on her 22nd birthday, just weeks before she was killed. This visit to spread her ashes. Well, it's going to be hard to put her in that and, and just say goodbye and I'll see you soon, but I know that's what she wanted. We are waiting on body camera footage from when Mercedes was found in that car fire that should be released by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office soon. We were told that part of the police report cannot be released right now because it could compromise the investigation. Of course, it is open. If you have any information about the murder of Mercedes Vega, please call the Maricopa County Sheriff's mm, Office. This just breaks your heart. This no. is awful. So you talked about that car, that Malibu, did mm -hmm. not belong to her. It did not, right? And so in that incident report, we could see that there was a salvaged title and who that belonged mm -hmm. to. I made contact with that person's family today, asking questions. Did you have this car? Did you know anything? The answer is no. They told me that she was in a car accident and her insurance deemed that car totaled. And so it was towed off to a, a junkyard or some sort of yard. She didn't know where it went after that. It was totaled. She moved on. She bought another yeah. car. How but long a, before? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And so that was something that her family was saying they needed to go back mm -hmm. and look at. Right, right. But, but this was a shock to them, right? Because when you have a police report, sometimes names of everything they've looked at mm -hmm. can be included. But we were able to at least cross that off the list. Right. Okay. We knew that could be a, the case. When we saw that it was a salvaged title and that the last person it belonged to, there's some steps mm -hmm. in there, but that makes it really hard to track down 
who got that car. Mm -hmm. But to Tom's point, Mercedes' dad, he said it, there was never a report that it was a stolen vehicle. So there was some sort of transaction that happened. Yeah, and mm. sometimes they sell those salvaged exactly. uh, title cars. Exactly. Yeah. And one of those 911 callers said they thought they saw a the person outside of the burning vehicle as they were passing by on the I-10. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a description of that person would be critical. Um, but I imagine police probably don't want to tip their hand about if they have any information what what that description might be. I'm sure that would be one thing where they would not want to release it to compromise the yeah, investigation. Yeah, yeah. But also, you have the challenge in this case of the fact that the caller was just reporting a right. car fire. There's car fires that we see in the valley mm -hmm. all the time. It's likely he thought the person that was outside the car was the person who was in the car, right. you know, getting out, right. the car malfunctioned, mm -hmm. or that it was somebody who pulled a over to help. Device. Yeah, he had yeah, no, idea no idea what he was seeing at the time. Mm -hmm. But maybe now that we know, okay, it was this car that she was found mm -hmm. in on this time, yeah. it, maybe somebody else saw that. Yeah. And yeah. Mercedes' case is known around the world at this point. Mm -hmm. This is very high mm -hmm. profile. Mm -hmm. So maybe somebody saw something if they were traveling through. Yes. Sounds like a few pieces are, are being put together and hopefully we can get some answers at some point. Yeah. 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 This is just terrible. Yeah. Uh, Brianna, thank you for that update.